This is a brief tutorial on merging the Calendly app into the Blackboard environment as an easy access point for students to meet with you. Think you might be interested in a Calendly widget on your Blackboard pages? And you might say, yes, but what is a widget? Well, a widget is simply a button that activates an app within your current environment. For the purpose of this tutorial, the widget is a button that calls the Calendly app within the Blackboard environment. Sounds interesting. Are there any prerequisites? Yes, there's one. You must have a Calendly account. You can go to Calendly.com, set one up. Once you've got your account set up like you want, then your next step is where am I going to put this widget? And this tutorial just says in your Blackboard pages. I have a sample picture here where I'm in the course content section of a Blackboard course. And you can see the blue widget in the bottom right of the screenshot. And here I've got various folders, items, documents that students can, can see. But right there in that page, they have a button to meet with you. So what would I do with this widget? What's the most practical purpose? In this tutorial, it's to provide a link that does not leave the Blackboard environment where students can schedule time to meet with you. you know, for example, virtual office hours. I have a sample button here and the text and the colors are customizable. Next question, how do I set up this widget in my Blackboard? Well, the first step is you prepare your Blackboard page. Here I have a live Blackboard page. Uh, you can see the widget in the bottom right. As I scroll, that's a nice effect with the widget. It just stays in place and sets on top of the page. I've given you a demonstration over here. On the left hand side, you'll see a file, you'll see some content folders, and you'll see an item. Let me review that. We've got items, files, and content folders. So I, I wanted to show you because I use these three often. So as you have your page set up, You'll notice the bottom down here doesn't have any text on it. That is the code for your widget. And it is the item. So I will be building an item. And inside that item will be the code. Let me show you another little piece when I turn the edit mode to off. You notice it's kind of a distraction, but it, there's nothing really to click on. So if you want to leave your icons on the left, that's perfectly fine. If you say, no, I don't want to see that bottom piece, then you can just do the show text only. And when you turn that on, it's a, it could be difficult to distinguish what is a file and what is a folder but the bottom panel down here just becomes blank and so most students won't even notice it. When I click on the widget it brings up the Calendly app and here I just have a demonstration for you. What I have are virtual office hours. I put them in 30 minute increments and I use Blackboard Collaborate and so I wrote a little statement here to schedule some time to meet with your instructor to answer whatever questions you have in whatever course and you could you could lengthen this a little bit and and put several courses it's, it's up to you but I wanted to provide that link and then they can choose one of these days let me just pick on one they scroll down and they can just find out whatever times you have available once they've got all that taken care of then I can leave that environment and go back 
into my blackboard. So the point I want to make is find out what page, let's do one at a time. Once you have one, you can just copy it onto what other, other pages you want. For example, this is a folder for me. So when they click in the lesson one folder, which may have several pieces, that little widget is still with them. So the widget is only where you want it placed. If you only want it on your course content page or if you want it in multiple places, you'll just copy and paste it as you desire. So we have our Blackboard page located that we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the widget code. We do this by going to the Calendly site. So here I am at my Calendly site, and I'm, I'm involved in a couple of different calendars, but this was the one that I had set up for my virtual office hours. This little card here in the upper right, you click on that, and it says Add to Website. So click on that. You've got some choices. Feel free to explore. I was interested in the pop-up widget. Continue. The code that you want is on the right. How it formats, you have pop-up widget settings, you've got page settings. Feel free to, to put whatever text you want in there, what colors you want. This is where you customize it. Then once you have it in place, you copy the code, close that out, and then we'll go back to the Blackboard environment. So we have our widget code copied. We're going over into Blackboard and put it in the page. So back in the Blackboard environment, we figure out where we want this widget. Now I've already got a widget placed on this page. So let me go ahead and go into the, the edit mode. And I don't believe I have one in this Lesson 3 folder. So I'll click on this folder. It's time to add some content. So this is where I can put things in, but I'm just demonstrating how to put the widget. So I'm going to choose an item. Now this is important for the text not to show up. I use a little bit of HTML, which is just simply a line break. It's the little less than, greater than symbols with a line break. Then I choose the HTML button. Inside there, I paste the code, close that with an update, submit, and now I've got my button. You notice I didn't configure anything when I set this up. You can have that to where you can turn the branding off. You can change the, the colors, the code, all that. You can do all that you want. I can even come in here and maybe just turn off my icons and so the students will see it more like this page. And again, your content can be anywhere organized how you usually do it. So I've pasted the widget code into Blackboard. There's last optional step of just copy that item as much as you want. I'm inside the environment. Let me go to my edit mode on. I know that there's the widget in this place. So I can take and I can copy and then I can put that wherever I want to. Once you've got all of those in place, enjoy.